we just finished installing our AC and turns out the AC leaks. Hey everyone, welcome back to our van build series. It was quite disappointing because our max air fan went in flawlessly. We did all those windows on the side of the van, no leaks, installed the AC, and it leaked. And we didn't know for a while. We're here in Texas and we didn't know until we got a really big storm that came through. Really heavy rain. And discovered like there's a leak in the AC. So, ah, man. So we started tearing stuff apart. We're kind of in panic mode trying to figure out what's going on. The AC has been installed for a while now. So one thing we did notice was that the roof flexed where the AC was in. So naturally it was just like, well, that's probably our issue right there. So that's where we started. That's why you see here third hand pushing up against it because we thought that's where the problem is. So we actually took it all apart. DJ actually designed a jig out of 80-20 because it's flat enough and strong enough to hold and support that roof where we thought it was sagging. We attached that to the ribs that come in the van. Uh, that's kind of the strongest point there. Everything was super strong. However, extruded aluminum is super flat. The roof of the van is super curved. So we wanted to get something in there that would kind of help support that sheet metal a little bit. We got this rubber car hose from like, it was, uh, where did we go? It was some auto shop. Oh yeah, some auto place that was right around the corner. We went and got that. It seemed to make sense. So we taped that around the 8020 and that kind of helped follow that contour. Everything looked good. So we started putting it back together again. Okay. After that, we did a leak test. It leaked again. It leaked again. <sighs> And so this time we're really up against the wall. We're like, okay, what is going on here? The roof is sound. It's got plenty of support. Why is it still leaking? So we pulled it apart again. At this point, we were like, okay, what well, has to be something with the way that we're sealing it? As you remember, if you looked at our previous video, the way that the velvet actually seals to the roof is it came with this foam gasket and you stick a flex that to the actual roof of the van. Then the AC goes on top of that and seals against that gasket. So we're like, okay, well, maybe it's just not enough foam there. Looked online, we ended up ordering this adapter plate that contours to the roof of the van. It was from a company called DIY Van. They make really great products. We installed that. Before we installed the adapter, we had to clean everything uh, up. Yeah. And it was awful because getting that up was not easy. We used a Dremel. We used a flathead disc. We used our bare hands trying to scrape it off. Scrapers, yeah, all kinds of stuff. And it took a lot. We even took a grinder to it at one point to get that off. I think the hardest thing is that you're trying to get up this like gooey, rubbery type texture, but you're trying to also not damage the van because you don't want to gouge the metal. So it was, it was a fine line. Well, we got most of it off. It was definitely enough to continue on with the process. Yeah. And it's a little bit of a two or three part process kind of layered up. So it has this really stiff adapter that you glue down to the roof of the van. So that's there forever. And then on top of that, it has its own foam gasket. That's the full contour of the actual actual adapter. So you 3M adhesive that to that, and then you come back in with the AC. After all of that, everything's cleaned up. We got the adapter in, new seals, everything's good to go. Put it all back together. And we did a water test. We did a water test. And results were? It leaked again. <laughs> it leaked. You can't catch a break. Yeah. We were like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the installation seemed flawless. I mean, we did everything we knew to do. And so at this point, we need to contact Bella and see what's going on. And turns out we probably should have started with this option. That's where it gets into, it wasn't really on us. So we were working with him, who was great. He was very responsive, helping us out, trying to figure it out too as well. And turns out in their manufacturing process, the mold, there was a defect in it. And essentially there was this pocket that didn't get filled with, I forgot the name of the material, but it didn't get filled properly. And it left the smallest pinhole. And that's where the leak was coming from. That's what we were fighting against this entire time. And it took two seconds to fill this hole with sealant oh and all of our leaks completely went away.
Uh, <laughs> okay, so we just put in um, silicone. It's hot. <laughs> we plugged in the hole, so hopefully there's not going to be any more leaking. Thanks for us. We'll do a water test soon. We're going to water test it, and Hurricane Burl happened. It held up perfectly. Zero leaks, no issues at all. And so now we are 150% confident the leaky Velvet AC is finally fixed. Yeah. So if you actually have a Velvet AC and you're experiencing this, we would highly encourage you to talk to Velvet, not try and throw shade on them. I mean, turns out it was a manufacturing defect that helped us fix. So we still need to actually test the AC, but so far, no leaks anymore. So thank you for staying tuned in, keeping up with everything that's going on. We know it's been a while. We are on a mission to get this van completed by the end of the year. So we're going to be rocking and rolling. We had to continue with that for a little while. Now it's squared away. So we're yeah. moving. If you enjoyed this video, definitely think about subscribing. Hit that like button down below. Check out some of our previous videos and uh, stay tuned for more. You see it leaks. It leaks. However, it wasn't our fault. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs>